here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure, make sure you click on the description below to be sure that you're put on our mailing list because believe it or not, the great Eldersky's videos have been demonetized by YouTube. Shall I play the race card? If you want to make sure you keep getting our videos, whether they're about the COVID shutdown, whether about the uh, election of 2020, the election of 2016 that nobody wants to talk about, we want to make sure you always get our videos. So be sure to sign up in the description below to make sure you're on our mailing list. Now, I'm born and raised in the city of Los Angeles, but there's been nothing like what just happened with three members of LA City Council and one labor union leader. There has been a leaked tape, came out last year, but they just now released it. And it's all about how ticked off these people are about the commission that has been set up to design new districts, political districts in Los Angeles. So here's the deal. LA is roughly 50% Hispanic. There are 15 members of city council, but only about 30% of the council members are Hispanic. City is about eight and a half percent black, but about 20% of the council members are black. And in a world of diversity, equity, and inclusion, this is unacceptable because the premise is, as you hear these people talking, if you are a Hispanic, you ought to be living in a Hispanic district run by a Hispanic politician. If you're black, living in a black district, obviously your city council person ought to be black and so forth. How incredibly divisive and incredibly insulting that is. As I mentioned, I was born and raised here. My family was the second black family to move into an area of South Central Los Angeles. And within a few years, that area was all black. However, there was a assemblyman named Kenneth Hahn, who's white. And unlike a lot of the political politicians in that time, he decided to keep his seat and ran in a district now that was majority black, even though it was majority white when he got elected. He would go, he would go to black churches. Uh, he would go to black recreational centers. He'd go to black schools. He met friends and black people loved Kenneth Hahn. By the way, he is the father of the future mayor of LA, Jim Hahn. And the reason Jim Hahn got so much black support is because black people remembered his dad fondly. My point is this premise as you'll hear when these members of city council and labor leader are talking, the premise is that if you are black, you can't be represented by a white person. If you're an Asian person, you can't be represented by anybody other than an Asian person and so forth. I mean, what is the Hispanic position on crime? What is the Hispanic position on homelessness? What is the Hispanic position on why people are leaving LA for the first time uh, in years? because of the high cost of living. What is the Hispanic position uh, on clean air, clean water? What is the Hispanic position on the fires we have here in California? What is the Hispanic position on the drought we're having here in California? The whole thing is insulting and condescending. Now, the four people we're talking about are a guy named, uh, a woman named Nuri Martinez. Nuri Martinez is the president of LA City Council, the first Latino, Latina president we've ever had. Another member is a guy named Gil Cedillo. Another member is a guy named Kevin DeLeon. And the fourth leader is a uh, labor leader, as I mentioned, named Herrera. These are the four people who are talking, complaining about districts, complaining about this person, that person. And the comments that you hear are extremely racist. This first part, however, has to do with them denigrating, ridiculing, uh, and attacking a congressman named Mike Bonin. Mike Bonin is white, he is gay, he has an adopted black child. And one of them refers to him as a little B word that rhymes with witch. That would be the union leader, who by the way has since resigned. So uh, apparently there was a parade, an uh, MLK Day parade, and Mike Bonin brought his kid on the parade, and the kid in the view of these council persons was acting up. So here's what they said about Mike Bonin and about his black child. So getting 
back to Marquise. I told Danny, if you want to cut a deal and if you want to, if, if you want to make like the boss moves, I would go after the airport. He goes, I know that idea. I said, tell Marquise, don't, go take him from his friend. Don't go. Don't go after. Leave him alone. Yeah. Go get the airport from his <clears> little <throat> brother, mm -hmm. that little bitch Bonin. That little B word Bonin. Would she have called Bonin a little B word if Bonin was heterosexual? Isn't that homophobic? This is Nuri Martinez, the president of the city council, referring to a colleague, Mike Bonin, as that little B word. I go, I go, what is with the Bonin? What is Bonin? I said, Bonin thinks he's effing black, that guy. What is with Bonin? Bonin thinks he's effing black. I don't think he's black. I go, he thinks he's black. I go, the same thing. He goes, why are they so close? Why are they so close? Why is Bonin so close with black people? He's from Massachusetts. I asked him during Black History Month, like, about a council. You know, pone acá en el. Remember, lo pone con hilo. It's like it's an accessory. And they both, and all of them say that Mike Bonin uses his kid as an accessory. One even refers to him as a lawn jockey. One even says he holds him around like a Louis Vuitton bag. When we do the MRK parade? Just like, well, just like when, when... They used to have those statues when, in, when, in, in, in uh, right? plantations. Wait, yeah. 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 They used to have those statues in plantations. He uses a kid like a lawn jockey. Nori in brings the the, her little yard bag or the, the, the Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know what a go-yard bag is, but I know what a Louis Vuitton bag is. Su Negrito, not a term of endearment. For MLK, for the parade that Herb used to organize. And now here's they talk about how the kid, in their view, was misbehaving on the MLK parade float. All the council who wanted to join Herb on the float, because he used to do a whole float, it would be nice. Bonnie would be like, hey, Nuri, are you going to the MLK? Well, Herb invited me, yeah, I'll go. Okay, I'm bringing whatever the kid's name is. I'm like, it's like the oddest thing ever. <clears throat> it's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid. There's this white guy with a little black kid who's misbehaved. Gives you an idea how they feel about white guys. Who's misbehaved. By the way, it's obvious all four of these people are Hispanic. Este niño has no, he's, they're not doing as, yeah, no, they're not doing, the kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. Parece changuito. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm over here trying to parent this kid. I'm like, you can't do that. I said, no. And Mike is like, you know, I'm like, you're not teaching your kid anything. <laughs> it's me and Karen Bass on the floor trying to check this little kid. <laughs> me? By the, way, Karen? by the way, Karen Bass is the leading candidate for mayor of L.A. I'll come to Karen Bass and the fact that Nuri Martinez supported her in a minute. Bass y la esposa de Marquise, Carrie. And we're all looking at each other because we're the three women on the floor. Like, who's going to This kid's going to tip us over. Because yeah. he's literally hanging on the rails. Jeez. Well, you can't let him, let him off because the, the, the spectators will beat his ass. We can't let him off because the spectators will beat his blank? I don't even know what that even means. We can't let the kid off the float because the spectators will beat him up, says this union leader. Yeah. They're, 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 they're raising him like a little white kid. Which they're raising him like a little white kid. What does that mean? I was like, this kid needs a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him. The kid needs a beat down? Around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Yeah. He's a pinch. Yeah. He's a blank. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to redistricting. So anyway, let's get back to complaining about redistricting. Now, one of those, as I mentioned, is Kevin DeLeon. And here's what he said. Quote, it's not us, referring to the four Latinas uh, in this meeting. It's for Latino strength for the foreseeable future, end of quote. Have you gotten your my pillow yet? I take that as a no. I take that as a personal insult. You don't want me to play the tapes we say about people that won't buy a my pillow. No, no racial slurs, no homophobic slurs, no anti-black, no anti-white slurs. But 
Don't you want to be patronizing a business that supports your values, as does MyPillow? Call the number on the screen. Go to MyPillow.com. Use promo code ELDER. There are over 100 products, including the MyPillows, that come in different sizes and different shapes. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Larry has a pair of my slippers. This beautiful fur lined interior. They come in different styles, of course, in different colors. And I wear a pair of my pillows, my slippers, every single night as I sleep on a my pillow Giza dream bed sheet. You mean you don't? The gentleman you're hearing right now is very upset. He doesn't have a MyPillow Giza Dream bedsheet. And that's why he's so cranky. Listen to all the noise he's making. If he had a pair of MyPillow slippers, he'd be mellowing out. But he's not. If he slept on a MyPillow pillow, he would have had a comforting sleep last night. He'd be in a better mood. So again, call the number on your screen. Or go to MyPillow.com, use promo code ELDER. Again, there are over 100 products. Coming up, we're going to talk to Chris Tremoli, one of our favorite guests on the Larry Elder Show, about a piece he wrote about Kamala Harris, who suggested in the wake of Hurricane Ian that the aid be determined based upon people of color. All of that and more do not go away. Now, let's talk about some of the specific things that were said during this hour-long thing. They were talking about part of the airport district. And Martina says, go get the airport from his little brother, referring to Mike Bonin, that little B word Bonin. She referred to Bonin's child as an accessory. You heard some of the comments. Bonin effing thinks he's black. You heard that. The union leader referred to Bonin as that little B word. Martinez said, the child is being used like a, and she used a Hispanic term, which means he's like a monkey. Martinez attacked Oaxacans. These are Mexicans from an area of Mexico called Oaxaca. She attacked them because she didn't know whether or not they were part of an area of LA called Koreatown or K-Town, and she demeaned them. Quote, it's, I see a lot of little short, dark people in this area of K-Town, she said. And she said, I was like, I don't know where these people are from. I don't know what village they came from, how they got here. They are tan feos, which means they're ugly. This is a Latina referring to other Latinos as from an area of Mexico, don't know where they got here, how they got here, but they are ugly. Martinez then refers to the LA DA, whose name is Gil George Gascon, who happens, by the way, to be from Cuba. She says about him, F that guy. He's with the blacks, close quote. By the way, Nuri Martinez rose to power because she had a black mentor. And now she's referring to blacks as the blacks, as if they're in some category. You know, they're not really normal people. They're in a category. And... There is a city council person named Mark Ridley Thomas who is facing an investigation over ethics violations. And the question was whether or not he should still be paid while he's being investigated. The city has since ruled that he is not to be paid while he's being investigated. But at the time, there was a debate over whether or not he should be paid. And in this conversation, Nuri Martinez, the city council president, who, by the way, has since resigned from her presidency, which we'll talk about in a second. She says that decision will be up to the city controller as to whether or not Mark Riley Thomas gets paid. And she says, it'll be up to this particular individual who happens to be white. And she said, white politicians will mother F you in a heartbeat. You need to, you need to talk to that white guy referring to the city controller. It's not us. It's the white members on the council that will mother F you in a heartbeat, close quote. Charming. Then she talks about the commission that is in charge of setting up these districts. It's called a redistricting commission. About the commission, she says, it has effing gone rogue. 
They are effing useless. And then they go back to joking, laughing, ridiculing Mike Bonin's lawn jockey, little B word, uh, Louis Vuitton bag kid. And during this conversation, not one word about crime. Up dramatically in Los Angeles, you know what's down? Arrests. Why? Because the LAPD is 800 officers short because people have resigned, they've retired early, they've transferred to other departments. And why would you want to join a force that is perceived to be systemically racist? So categories of crime are up. The so one big category down, which is arrests. Did any of these council persons, and this took place in October of last year, say one word about crime? No. LA County, roughly estimate around 60,000 people are homeless every single night, and at least one person dies every single night. Regarding female homeless, I heard that the percentage of the female homeless who've been raped is close to 100%. The only question is how many times over is a female who's homeless going to be raped? Did they say one word about homelessness? No. The city is losing population. Why? Because of the price of a home and the cost of rent. Did they say anything at all about the pack that people are leaving and the high cost of living in California? Not one word. And because of COVID, parents were able to see for the first time how bad their children were getting uh, in terms of education. Parents were shocked at the emphasis on self-esteem as opposed to reading, writing, and computing. And polls show a greater number of parents want their kids out of LAUSD, the Los Angeles Unified School District. Did these LA City Council persons say anything at all about the quality of education kids are getting uh, in our school system? Not one word. It was all about power, power, power. One of them, Kevin DeLeon, said specifically, it's all about making sure that we maintain, quote, Latino power, close quote. What does that even mean, Latino power? Is there a Latino position on homelessness? Is there a Latino position on crime? Is there a Latino position on whether or not the science should have been followed in shutting down businesses and in shutting down education because of COVID? No. So what does it mean we need more Latino power? Is there a Latino power on taxes? Is there a Latino uh, position on regulation? It is insulting, it is demeaning, and it says everything that they feel about you, the taxpayers. You guys work for us, not the other way around is their attitude. It's absolutely insulting. And these are the highest paid council persons in the country, not just in the state of California, in the country, they make roughly 204000 They have a $100,000 slush, slush, slush fund that they can use every year. They have access to millions of dollars in discretionary spending. They get free health care. They get free health care post-retirement. They have a large staff that's paid for by taxpayers. No wonder two of them have refused to resign. The uh, union leader has resigned. Nuri Martinez has now resigned after initially only resigning from the presidency. But two of them have yet to resign, Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedilla. And Cedilla, when the tape broke, said, I don't remember the conversation, which suggests to me anyway, these guys talk like this all the time. Why would he remember the conversation when it was no big deal since this is just standard procedure? So Nuri Martinez has now resigned. And as I mentioned, not one word about crime, not one word about homelessness, not one word about the mentally ill homeless that are plaguing our cities and plaguing our businesses. Just this morning, a friend of mine who has a business in Los Angeles sent me the following videotape. Watch this. You the dumbest I've ever known. Yeah, now you can be a man. Stupid Somebody, I could. I don't think you don't understand the power to want to hit your What'd you say? You heard me. No, I, I missed it. Say it a little louder. Hey, girl, you know how you have burned your You know how that burned your ass will be way in the in the face of you and breaking every get jaw at the same time. And nothing can bring your ass back, girl. This is an increasingly 
common phenomenon in the City of Angels, America's second largest city. 77% of Angelinos say that crime is of utmost concern to them. And what's being done about it? One more time, these four council persons were all talking about how the city ought to be divided up based upon power, based upon Latino power, not one word about crime, not one word about homelessness. Now, what's fascinating about this is, of course, everybody knows that Republicans are racist, particularly white Republicans. The Biden administration has determined that the biggest problem facing this country are white supremacists who are terrorists. Can you imagine what they would do to Donald Trump if you found Donald Trump and three other politicians referring to blacks the way they did, referring to gays the way they did, referring to Hispanics the way they did, referring to fellow white people the way they did? Are you kidding me? Joe Biden has weighed in. Joe Biden is demanding that all of these members of city council resign. Joe Biden, Joe Biden called these comments inexcusable, racist, and has said all of the members should be resigned. Joe Biden, the same Joe Biden who said of Mitt Romney. He's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. Unchain Wall ba Street. Going to put y'all back in chains. Joe Biden, white savior politician, says to these four, these three Latino, Latino politicians in LA, you must resign because of your racist comments. Is it the same Joe Biden who told Charlemagne the God uh, this? And if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. You ain't black unless you vote for me. If you vote for Trump, you ain't black, says white savior Joe Biden is now demanding that these three Hispanic leaders resign. Is that the same Joe Biden who made the comment about a candidate for president named Barack Obama? I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African-American yeah. who is articulate and bright and... And, and clean, and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. And now Joe Biden wants them to resign? Hope you enjoyed that video. The full show is available to watch right now on Epoch TV. Just click the link in the description below to learn more because we've got a country to save.